Welcome to the May 27th, 2011 edition of Inside Rensselaer, the video podcast that lets you know what's going on inside Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Let's start off with our commencement news. 1,700 students will receive degrees from Rensselaer on Saturday. In addition to the commencement speaker, U.S. Surgeon General Regina Benjamin, Class President Jeremy Carlson will address the class. And the class of 2011 will present their gift, 11 benches that now line the tree-lined promenade area of the 86th field. Commencement will be green this year with some new sustainability initiatives. Among them, the cap and gowns used are made from 100% post-consumer plastic bottle pellets. Healing will not be used in the balloons, and locally baked and made foods will be used at the commencement barbecue. And 49 students are graduating from the Reserve Officers Training Corps program and will start active military service as officers with the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. The commissioning ceremonies will take place May 27th on campus. In research news, new research published in the journal Science, led by Miriam Katz, is providing some of the strongest evidence to date that the Antarctic Circumpolar Current played a key role in the major shift in the global climate that began approximately 38 million years ago. A new study seeks to develop software for calculating and tracking a patient's radiation exposure from diagnostic X-ray CT scans. This project builds on ex-George Zhu's research on virtual phantoms for computer simulation using Monte Carlo methods. And Rensselaer has assembled a critical mass of experts and researchers who are investigating the full spectrum of lighting and lighting research. Much of this research is facilitated through the Lighting Research Center and the Smart Lighting Engineering Research Center. In student news, at the class brunch and awards celebration, several graduating seniors were honored. The Willie Stanton Award, for the senior judge to have contributed the most in service to the student body, went to Kyle Matson. The Livingston W. Houston Citizenship Award, honoring the first citizen of the college, went to John Kennedy. And the Leopold L. Balizen Prize, honoring a senior student athlete, went to Chaz Mitchell. A team of students recently won the 2011 National Geo Challenge for their innovative earth wall design. The annual competition is sponsored by the American Society of Civil Engineers. The NSF announced last month that Sarah Lindley and Danielle Bogdanowitz, both studying biomedical engineering, were among the winners of the 2011 NSF Graduate Research Fellowship Program competition. And the School of Engineering has launched a new web portal, Better World Engineering, to highlight educational and research projects related to sustainability, emerging communities, humanitarianism, and the global impact of engineering. In faculty and staff news, Bimo Bolivia has been selected as the 37th recipient of the David Darren Counseling Award, which is given by Rensselaer Student Leadership Honorary Society to a faculty member who has made an unusual contribution in the counseling of undergraduate students. James Myers has joined the High Performance Computing Advisory Committee on the U.S. Council of Competitiveness, and faculty members were honored with annual institute awards and for service and dedication at the 48th Annual Faculty Recognition Dinner. David Hess received the William H. Wiley Distinguished Faculty Award. Abby Kinchy received the James M. Dean Class of 66 Early Career Award for faculty. Joe Chow received the Jerome Fishback Faculty Travel Grant. Eric Leddit received the Class of 1951 Outstanding Teaching Award Fellowship. And Ravi Kane was awarded the Board of Trustees Outstanding Teacher Award. For in-depth versions of these stories and more, visit rpi.edu slash about slash inside. We'll be back on June 17th with our next episode. Thanks for listening.